Hey everyone, it's Kim Angel Dream Crafts and I am here with another entry for my challenge. And this one is from my dear friend, Miss Debbie Vignola. Hey Debbie, thank you for coming to my class yesterday too, Debbie. It was lovely to see you. Um, so Debbie has sent me this package for my pocket challenge and I'm going to have the link for her channel in the description box. So please go over and sub and Debbie is having a challenge at the moment right now as well. So if you go over to her channel, you will see and she's very, very talented. I did a swap with her last year and I had so much fun doing that. Um, so yes, let me get started and we'll see what's inside here. So we have this Ooh, very pretty washi tape. I will save that. I love the bag too. These bags are good for printing on actually. You can pop these in your printer and print on them. And let's see what's inside. Okay, let's put that there. And here's a note. says, hi Kim, here's my entry to your challenge. I decided to make one of each, a fabric pocket and a paper pocket. The paper pocket turned out to look more like an envelope than a pocket. I hope that's okay. It certainly is, absolutely. Um, also, since I do not do journals, from what I've seen on the videos, I use printer paper. Cardstock was seen, seemed heavy and thick for a paper journal. That is very true. That's what I use, is printer paper. Um, the embellishment on the fabric pocket was made by Belinda Coombs. Oh, great. We did an embellishment swap, and this is one of the ones she sent me. Wish you all the best with your challenge. I hope you have a great turnout. Crafty hugs, Debbie. Well, thank you, Debbie. That's exciting. Okay, let's see what we've got here. And the one on top is the paper pocket. So we'll start with that one first. And I can already tell I love it because look at the colors. It's amazing. It almost looks like a mixed media paper that she's printed off. Maybe from a digital kit or something, but you'll have to tell me what that is because I love this paper. It's got roses and splatters and wings. I just love it and lots of turquoise. Um, I really love that paper. So yes, please let me know if that's a digital kit that you that you have and where I can get that paper because I love it. Oh, that would look beautiful in a journal. And I love that it is more like an envelope. I love that. And she's done a scalloped edge on the top here. You can see there. And then she's put this beautiful flower and she's just touched it up with a tiny bit of black paint and around the edges here too. And then she's got these dimensional, I'm guessing they're like stickers that she put in the corner and they're like a nice filigree. I love that, Debbie. And she's punched a circle and then gone around it with more black. I don't know if that's the Distress ink, the black soot, or if it's paint. But I love how you finish that. I, I love it. It's beautiful. That will be so great to add to a journal. So thank you so much for that, Debbie. Look at that. You did a great job. I love it. Love the cameo. Oh, it's so pretty, Debbie. Thank you so much. So let me put that in. Oh my goodness, look at this. Wow, that's gorgeous. So the embellishment on the front was made by Belinda Coombs. Hey, Belinda. Um, so that is just beautiful. It's a vintage doily and it's got a rolled flower. It's got some a couple of layers of lace, I think, and another doily maybe underneath there. And then this beautiful satin rolled flower with some pearls. So that is just gorgeous. Oh, I love this fabric. Look at that fabric. It's Paris and you know, I love Paris Debbie and beautiful um, vintage toned lace here. And that, that actually looks like vintage lace too. I love the roses, love the Paris. Love the handbag. I love everything about this fabric. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's so pretty, Debbie. And she's got more of that lace here. And then there's some flat back pearls and some pink trim there. And then, oh my gosh, look at this beautiful trim here. Oh, wow. 
This is beautiful lace. That's gorgeous and it looks vintage too. So I love that you went vintage because that is something I really, really love. It's like shabby Paris vintage. Everything I love. <laughs> and she's got some trim here with little tiny rhinestones in it. A beautiful flower trim. More dusty pink trim with flat back pearl and more of that really pretty cream and pink vintage lace there. And then there is more of that beautiful Paris fabric. I love that the Eiffel Tower is right on the front. I need to know where you got that fabric, girl. I love it. I love it. And then she's used some um, little flower appliques here. I, I have that in like a pink and I've seen it in lavender, but I haven't seen it in this like um, cherry red color, which I love that color. That looks so pretty and it matches beautifully on here with everything. Oh, Debbie, this is gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love them both. Thank you so much. So you can see how much talent this lovely lady has. So check out the link below. And thank you so much, Debbie. And I forgot to say, I think at the beginning that Debbie is entry number four. So um, that will be your number in the drawing too, because I think that's the way I'm going to do it this time is just uh, how I get them. And then that'll be your number for the draw, I think. So um, and I'm going to put my playlist together after I do my next video. So there'll be um, five videos so far. And then if any more come today, I'll film those as well. So thank you, Debbie. And um, please check out my challenge if you haven't already. I've had a very good response. I want to thank everyone for entering. And um, thank you, Debbie, for your beautiful work here. I love it. And go and subscribe to Debbie. The link is down below. I'll be back with another video shortly, guys. Bye-bye for now.